This was me in 2019. This is me now. From the girl who couldn't stick to a goal to save her life and hated looking in the mirror to becoming the best version of myself and having my dream life. If there's anyone who knows anything about a glow up, it's your girl. This is your ultimate guide to get your dream glow up, level up your life, and become the best version of yourself. So first things first, an inner glow up is way more important than the outer glow up. Because when you're genuinely glowing from the inside, it's going to show and radiate towards your outside. So what is an inner glow up? It's basically your motivation, your self-worth, your values, your healthy habits. And listen, I know we all love those glow up transformation videos that you see on YouTube. The before photo always shows them dressed in sweats, their hair looking kind of crazy. And then the after photo is always their hair blown out, full face of makeup, looking like a model. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you guys, that glow up is only temporary. After getting your hair done your eyebrows waxed you might feel good for like a week or two but then after that since you're not fixing what's on the inside the inner ugliness is gonna radiate towards your outer and then you're just gonna go back to not feeling good about yourself and I'm speaking from experience okay I felt not good about myself majority of my life <laughs> and if you want proof of this look at all the most gorgeous girls you see on social media the girls with the perfect bodies the perfect face perfect skin all of them that you see they've all been in a slump not felt good about themselves compare themselves to other girls they thought were prettier than them on social media this includes all the girls that post that they wake up at 6 a.m. every single day, meditate, drink their matcha lattes and green juice, and go to the gym, go to Pilates, go to yoga. All of those girls that seem perfect on social media, they all had days like us where they lay in bed all day and do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Everyone at some point in their life is in need for a glow up. And if you're watching this and you want a glow up that actually lasts and isn't just some short lived era, you have to work on the inner part. Once you genuinely start taking care of yourself, so going on hot girl walks, journaling, eating healthier, working out, I promise you, you will start to feel better and that confidence and shine will speak for itself. I recently came across this TikTok that worded it perfectly. When I saw this girl's TikTok, I was dying laughing because I was like, that is so fast. Like literally for the longest time in my life, I never had confidence. I always felt bad about myself and I was always comparing myself to other people. They look so much happier than me. They're so much prettier than me. Everybody likes them. What I realized the hard way, it's kind of corny, but life is all about striving to become the best version of yourself. And you guys know the that girl trend that's been going around. It's basically a girl that I will never be, which is someone that always constantly has their life together. <laughs> They're always drinking green juices, eating salads, doing yoga, Pilates, at 5 a.m. and just overall they just look perfect <laughs> and that is not what I'm talking about because I feel like that perfect image can be really problematic I truly believe that self-care and self-help is what you make it so if you don't enjoy that stuff don't do it okay like bruh personally I'm not trying to drink celery juice and meditate for two hours at the crack of dawn okay like I love my sleep and celery juice tastes nasty to me <laughs> choose the healthy habits that you genuinely enjoy my whole life I was like the least motivated person to do anything like honestly guys I think I had severe commitment issues or something because literally any healthy habit that I tried to implement into my life I would do them for like a week and then fail but I had an epiphany and just one day I decided for myself I don't want to be that person that sets a goal for myself and cannot achieve it. I want to be able to trust myself and trust my own words. So now even like the tiniest little habits make me happy. So for example, every single morning I chug lemon water as soon as I wake up. I make my bed every single morning. I go on my hot girl walk so I get at least 5,000 to 10,000 steps a day. Those are like the easiest tiniest habits but those little habits add up and it all contributes to my glow up overall. Your day starts with your morning routine. And what I mean by this is every single morning, start your day by doing a few things for yourself. And this is something your girl actually learned in college because you guys, freshman Lena, <coughs> my morning routine would literally be this, okay? My alarm would ring five minutes before my class started. I would roll out of bed, literally sometimes still wearing my pajamas. Sometimes I would brush my teeth. Sometimes I wouldn't. <laughs> I would grab my backpack, walk out the door and walk to class. <laughs> and I didn't realize how starting off my mornings like that really impacted me and made me feel not great about myself You know, I'm guessing you watching this you're probably busy You're either like a student in college working full-time working part-time Maybe you have kids your mom like your whole day is already set up and it's already so busy Which means you're giving all your energy to other people to your career to your boss to your kids all throughout the day So it is so important you guys to at least start off your day doing just a few things for yourself You're going to notice a huge difference with how you feel for the rest of the day. I know sometimes people post their morning routines, myself included, and it looks like a five hour long morning routine. <laughs> that is just like not realistic, you know? It doesn't have to be something crazy or intricate. It could literally be you journaling for five minutes a day, hydrating, drinking water before your morning coffee, making your bed, 
bed, meditating or praying for five minutes. As long as you're doing something that immediately puts yourself and your well-being first before your day starts is chef's kiss, okay? So I would say a huge part of glowing up is 110% taking care of your mental health. So I'm really excited to be introducing today's sponsor of the video, BetterHelp. So BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into their network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. So actually, fun fact, I used BetterHelp last year back when your girl was still a senior in college. I was about to graduate, but I was really struggling with feeling lost and I was struggling with my motivation. So for me, it was really helpful to have someone to talk to during this like weird transition period of my life. So to get started, you just need to answer a few questions about your needs and preferences for therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And for whatever reason, if your therapist isn't right for you, you can change your therapist at no additional charge. And with BetterHelp, you can expect the same quality as in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. So if you guys are interested, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash lenalifts. I'm also going to have them linked down below in the description for you guys. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Start a workout routine. Any workout routine. I don't care what it is. Weightlifting, long hot girl walks, Pilates, boxing, cycling class, whatever it is. You gotta do it. <laughs> I personally feel like everyone should do some type of physical activity because, you know, not only is it good for your physical health, but you will also see the glow up in your mental health. I used to hate working out. Like, it's annoying, you know? Like, it just didn't sit right with me that I was just subjecting myself to pain for an hour, hour and a half, sweating through places that I didn't even know I could sweat and just, like, dying the whole time, you know? <laughs> like, most of the time, I don't want to do it. And my brother actually explained something to me about working out that made me hate working out a little bit less. <laughs> and it's that working out is the easiest thing to put input in and see immediate output so what he meant by this is working out is something that anyone can do even if you don't have a gym membership you could go run outside you could go walk outside and it's something that anyone can do and put work in and you always see the results when you start working out consistently you'll look in the mirror maybe you won't see a physical difference right away but you'll definitely notice that you feel better mentally that you overall just feel happier I can speak from experience okay I've had things that even though I put a bunch of input in for a long time you don't see any results when I first started YouTube I was posting video after video after video and I had three subscribers me my mom and my burner account <laughs> so even though I was putting input there was no output for a long time <laughs> so I'm so so grateful that you guys are here now <laughs> by the way if you're not subscribed already what are you doing <laughs> What are you doing? Speaking more from experience, when I first started working out, I started literally when I was at my lowest low, like rock bottom. I was a freshman in college. I had no friends. I was so lonely. I was so depressed in school and my social anxiety was at its worst. I like, I remember I legit heard voices talking to me in any social scenario I was in and like telling me, everyone's staring at you, no one likes you, you look weird. Like it was anxiety to the point it was debilitating. But honestly, when I started working out, it was the first time I actually developed trust in myself that I could actually commit to something that that's uncomfortable for me. Like it felt so good to commit to something, but also see my body physically get better and my mental health get better. And this confidence that I got from working out, I applied it to other areas of my life. So I became more disciplined in school. I became more disciplined with YouTube, started posting more videos. I started putting myself out there to make more friends. And actually, if you guys are interested in starting to weightlift and go to the gym, I do have a six week workout guide that has all exercises and explanations of the exercises, perfect for beginners. I'll have a link in my description if you guys wanna check it out. Look who just woke up and joined us. Say hi, mama. <laughs> hi. <laughs> so strive to improve or become better every single day, even if it's 0.00001% every day. In this book that I read, it's called The Mountain Is You. Highly, highly recommend, especially if you struggle with anxiety. It talks about how we as humans are wired for comfort. Anything that's uncomfortable for us, so like going to that party and introducing yourself to random people. Getting up in the morning before work to get a workout in. Treating yourself out to lunch and eating alone. Those things can be uncomfortable for you, but it's important to seek those things because that's what leads to progress. It leads to growth. And so even those days where you don't feel like doing anything and trust me I have those days You know those days where you're laying in bed all day You don't want to do anything you're binging Netflix scrolling through your phone feeling unmotivated bloated Even those days you can still progress 0.0001% and you can do this by throwing on an educational podcast or Read two pages of a book that you've been putting off or if you feel like crap It honestly really helps to journal for like 10 minutes about how you feel or what you're thinking all those things are very little things But they still will lead to progress. So that's what I mean by trying to progress every single day.
single day in some way, even if it's like the slightest way. And listen, on those days where it's really bad, where you literally can't do anything, because I've had those days, especially when I was depressed, there were some days I literally couldn't have the energy to take a shower or brush my teeth. On those days, just rest. Put away your phone, stop scrolling through social media, rest your mind, rest your body, get the sleep and the rest that you need, and do not feel guilty about it. Rest days are necessary. Another way to progress and get better is to actually try and learn a new skill. So for example, um, hello, Miss Ma'am. You're in my shot. I swear, this girl always knows when I'm filming because she loves to be right in front of the camera. <laughs> Bruh. Hey! So for example, learn how to do your makeup. Download Duolingo and learn a new language. Learn how to cook or bake. There's so many skills you can learn, big or small, that will just help add to your confidence. So now we're getting more into the physical. Have at least three physical non-negotiables every month. If you like to get your nails done, get your nails done. Deep condition your hair, getting your eyelashes done, doing a face mask, making these non-negotiable physical things that you can take care of. It's gonna help the outer, but also the inner too, because self-care is good for the outer and the inner. And listen, if you're concerned about the money thing, I understand, because you know, sometimes I see like the $3,000 glow ups, $5,000 glow ups, and I'm like, who? Because not I. <laughs> I am not spending that much. I don't care how beautiful I will look after. These physical maintenance stuff doesn't have to be expensive. Like, these are press-on nails. My nails are like $8 from CVS. <laughs> I threw some glue on and stuck them on. And it looks like I went to the nail salon. But I do hair masks once a week. I do a face mask once a week. I whiten my teeth once a week. Those are not hard things or expensive things, but it's things that I do every single month. For myself to, you know, maintain. All right guys, so this is gonna sound a little harsh, okay? <laughs> but this is honestly something I wish I heard when I was in the worst of my slumps and just in a rut and not feeling good about myself. You, you watching this right now, you take away your right to complain about your situation when you're not doing anything to get out of the situation that you're in. So if you feel bad about yourself, you're feeling lonely, if you're unhappy with yourself and you're unhappy with your life. First of all, I used to be the number one complainer <laughs> and I definitely went through some really hard, sometimes traumatic stuff in my life that, that definitely warranted some complaining, okay? But also, I think that at a certain point either you continue to complain and be in the situation that you're in or you wake up and you push yourself and then you try every day to get out of the situation that you're in and once I finally stopped complaining <laughs> and put all the energy that I was putting into complaining all the time to actually trying to improve my situation and my mental health that's when I finally saw the glow up transformation that I always wanted and I finally started to feel better